Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, May 10th, 2019. I'm Madeline Phoenix. And I'm Kaylee Rafferty. Today is a B-Day or a Blue Day. Today, we will be featuring the career fair and library news. Student Council meeting Monday, May 13th at 2.30 in room 235. First, we will be Mimit Sub and Homemade with Mullen and Moak. Attention 6th graders, a new reading challenge starts Monday. It's called Bikes for Books, sponsored by the Hampton Masons. The more books you read, the more chances you have to win a new bike. Fill out a raffle ticket for every book you finish uh, from now until June 10th for a chance to win. Tickets and raffle boxes will be in your LA classrooms and in library. Two brand new bikes will be raffled off at the last day of the school year. The deadline to order your Hampton Academy yearbook has been extended to May 12th. To order your yearbook, go to the Hampton Academy homepage and follow the link. This week has been Teacher Appreciation Week. The teachers would like to send out a big thanks to the PTA who organized delicious meals and treats as well as some fun activities. Thanks as well go out to all the students who have helped celebrate what the teachers do. We would like to announce the winners of the PTA-sponsored Trivia Test for Teachers. Monday's trivia question was, the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, is often used to help students remember what? The answer is the order of math operations. The winner to Monday's questions were, Mrs. Goldfisher, and you win a Barnes & Noble gift card. The second winner is, Mrs. Bowen, and you win a Loss or Loss gift card. Tuesday's trivia question is, what is the dot over the letter I and J called? The answer is called Tittle. The first winner for Tuesday is... Mrs. Blair, and you win a Target gift card. The second winner is Miss Campion, and you win a Juice Box gift card. Wednesday's trivia question was, what subject does Indiana Jones teach? The answer is archaeology. The winner to Wednesday's question was Mrs. Brand, and you win a Lost or Lost gift card. And the second winner is Mr. Doherty, and you win an Olive Garden or a Red Lobster gift card. Thursday's trivia question is, in which U.S. city and state was the first Dunkin' Donuts open? The answer is Quincy, Massachusetts. The first winner for Thursday is Mrs. Farley, and you win a Starbucks gift card. And the next winner is Mrs. Brandt, and you win a Barnes & Noble gift card. The last two prizes will be drawn later. The PTA will be delivering these to you. In honor of School Nurses Day, which was on Wednesday, May 8th, we have a special thank you to our very own school nurse, Mrs. Karen Brandt. Here sending warm wishes to you, Mrs. Brandt. You're a wonderful school nurse. We appreciate the way you've spread your care, love, and kindness to all of us. And we hope in return you get the same warmth. Happy Nurses Day! Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with Mrs. Saunders, our school librarian, our media specialist. Good morning, Mrs. Saunders. Good morning. We understand that you have big changes recently in the library lately. Would you tell us what's been going on? Yes, so yesterday during our half day, we boxed up all of the books, took about 300 boxes. So it looks a little different in there right now. And will this, how will the students and staff access the library and visit you through the rest of the school year? Sure, so um, I will still be in the current space uh, until probably the end of next week or the early the week after, and then I will be moving up without the books um, to a temporary classroom in the 1960s wing on the second floor. I'll be actually bringing with me a few carts of books, all the Chromebook stuff, um, so there'll be plenty of ways for you to, well, you can always visit me and check out some books. And we'll also have a book fair at the very end of the school year to be able to get books in the temporary library that way as well. Would you please tell me about what the new school library will look like and, and what new features will make it great? Yes, I'm so excited about the new library. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's really big, bright and sunny, and um, it's kind of divided into three sections. So the main section is the part with all of the books, tons of brand new bookshelves, so I'll have comfortable seating, the big circulation desk will be there, and then I'll have two classrooms on either side, and one will be um, kind of a traditional classroom space where we'll have library classes or whatever else we want to have in there, and the other space will be more of like a workroom, um, but anyone can come in and use it and reserve the space, and it's just going to be awesome. 
That's really cool. Thanks for being on Shark News, Mrs. Saunders. Thanks for having me. Seventh grade students recently had the opportunity to further study different career paths. Last Friday, Hanson Academy, at the direction of Mrs. Angela Bowen, hosted a career fair. Students were offered the opportunity to speak to many professionals and careers ranging from New Hampshire Marine Rescue to the NHSPCA, from police and fire to the teen librarian. Students circulated through booth sets up in the gymnasium and learned about the different careers and the preparation needed to pursue those careers. They also attended workshops on different opportunities. Lauren Muldoon and Abby Hansen had the opportunities to talk with a few students at the fair. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with two seventh grade students, Leah and Riley. So, Leah, we're here at the Courier Fair today. What was your favorite booth? My favorite booth was probably the lady who could just look at her face and tell us everything we needed to know about each other. Yeah, that was really cool. And, Riley, what was the most interesting thing you learned today? Uh, the most interesting thing I learned today was learning about what um, different jobs consisted of and what you needed to learn before you could enter that job. That was so cool and we had so much fun today. We're here right now at the career fair in the gym. So, Hannah, what, was, what has been your favorite stop so far? Uh, my favorite stop was the uh, nurse of the, uh, from uh, Exeter Hospital. I really liked that she really explained everything well. And yeah, that was my favorite so far. Nice. Uh, what was your favorite part? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was uh, probably. I really liked talking with uh, the guinea pigs. They were really cute. Thank you. Here is the second installment of our serial commercial segments from Mrs. Nato's language arts class. Each student designed a serial box based on a book they read. They also created a commercials. Take a look at this commercial created by Riley Thurston. Have some Marvin Oats. Marvin Oats? Yes, the perfect choice to start your day in a saving the earth kind of way. It's filled with excitable and fanabulous flavors with secrets revealed with each morsel. This is Marvin Gardens, and I am Obi, right beside him. Marvin and I are best pals. I call him the pollution solution. If you are lucky enough, you might find yourself with a special prize found within the cereal box to join Marvin in the fight to stop pollution. Help yourself to the miraculous morsels of Marvin Oats. In one special box, there is a prize with a magnet. It's a recycling symbol in hopes that you will make a difference, just like Marvin. Mmm, they are divine and the flavors are spectacular. I can taste the suspense with each spoonful. Interesting. That sounds just like the book, Me and Marvin Gardens. 
Act now. Marvin Oats is only available during spring. After Easter, it's off the shelves. Plus, if you buy one within the next hour, you will get your second box for free. Don't miss this annual opportunity. And now for your weather. Please send in your weather photos at sharknews at scni.org or come see Mrs. McNichol in the computer lab so you can airdrop them. <laughs> now for our first three weather, weather photos. Sunset over the Charles River, all sent in by Mr. Murphy. Cotton candy cloud from Brandy and Alita Hardiman. Waves at sunrise, also from Brandy and Alita Hardiman. Thank you so much for sending in those beautiful weather photos. Now for our day planner. At 8 o'clock a.m., it will be 48 degrees, and we will have showers this morning, and showers will continue throughout the afternoon. At about 12 p.m., the temperatures will have risen to about 54 degrees, and it will still be raining. And at 4 o'clock p.m., it will be 50 degrees, and rain will move in later in the evening. Now for our five-day forecast. On Saturday, the high will be 61, and the low will be 45 will be partly cloudy throughout the day. And on Sunday, it will be a high of 54 and a low of 45 degrees, cloudy with rain showers. And on Monday, the, it will be overcast with rain and high is 50 and our low is 42. And on Tuesday, it will be a high of 49 degrees and a low of 43 with overcast and rain showers and clouds. That's your weather. I'm Kim Zelenia. And I'm Nolan Brackett. Thank you so much for, for watching. watching. Our fact of the day is that natural blondes have more hair than natural brunettes. Natural blondes have approximately 120,000 to 147,000 hairs, while brunettes have 100,000 to 120,000. This makes perfect sense as evolutionary biology tells us that hair evolved partially to protect the scalp from potentially damaging UV rays. As darker hair contains more of the pigment, melanin, it naturally provides more of a protective barrier and hence brunettes needed less hair to serve the same purpose. Did you know that this month is Ramadan and some people in our school celebrate it? Ramadan is the ninth month on the Islamic calendar which marks an important holiday and events for Muslims who are people who practice Islam. During Ramadan people fast or refrain from eating and drinking. While it's light out, once the sun sets, families meet for big meals that may include stew, rice, dates, lentils, and more. People also have a morning meal before the sun rises. For the hundreds of millions of Muslims around the world who observe Ramadan, the month is a time to focus on their faith and also perform generous, gener generous acts. People raise money and donate supplies to help others in need. And many fast to remind themselves about those in the world who don't have enough to eat. After the last day of Ramadan, a three-day festival is held. One more thing, non-Muslim people may wish someone a happy Ramadan, but Muslims typically don't say that to each other. Our thought from the day comes from Booker T. Washington. Washington was born a slave on a Virginia farm. Washington, who lived from 1856 to 1915, rose to become one of the most famous, influential African-American intellectuals of the late 19th century. In 1881, he founded the Tuskegee Institute, a black school in Alabama devoted to teaching teachers. He said, those who are happiest are those who do the most for others. Celebrating their birthdays today are Michael and Jimmy Baker. Celebrating on Saturday is Clara Mooney and Mercedes Rivadanera. Celebrating on Sunday is Shark News' very own Haley Lewis. Happy birthday, Michael, Jimmy, Claire, Mercedes, and Haley. And now for your jokes, make sure to send your jokes at sharknews at scu90.org. Hey, Jessica. What? Why is your foot more important than most of your other body parts? I don't know. Why? Because it has its own soul. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day.